Yo guys, it's Chris here, back with another video, and, okay, no. Yo guys, it's Chris here, back in another video, and today is the second installment of the blank versus Nordschleife. We did the NASCAR last video. It got a 719.827 in the total. That's the time we're going for here because we are including the wheel spin because uh, that is very important. Uh, and like I said, it's not a competitive type thing. It's kind of just to see where these random cars go. And today we'll be doing a limo, not just any limo, a NASCAR V8 limo that has 1,000 horsepower. Yes, you heard that correct. 1,000 horsepower, as you see here, uh, 994, uh, 265 uh, millimeters of tire for this huge thing, uh, 783 uh, torque, and 4,500 pounds. It's a real or uh, rear wheel drive. So let's just see how this thing goes. Like I said, I'm going to uh, for some cars, I'm going to do you know, the first person point of view, uh, but like. We didn't. We don't really need to do that for NASCAR. It's going to be more fun, to, or for this, it's going to be more fun to see kind of what it looks like from the outer point of view. Uh, so this is definitely going to be interesting, uh, just like the NASCAR was. So I'm going to go through the lap as we do it. Um, quick predictions of this car. It's. I think it's going to handle the long corners good because it's a long car. It's going to handle the straight well, but it's going to struggle for traction since it's so heavy. It's going to do really bad on the smaller corners. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what we can get here. Of course the rolling start as usual. It's not too much rolling but whatever. And lap starting here. All right, Very short gears already. This thing has not turned whatsoever. We do have to, I'm gonna have to prepare for that as we uh, take these corners later on and uh, already a lot of wheel spin. I mean, you have to feather the throttle of this thing so much. It cannot contain all this horsepower. Braking, I am still braking and nothing is happening. And that's going to be us into the wall, almost not quite into the wall. This is definitely the uh, bad part for this car. Uh, once again, I'm going as fast as I can without spinning out the cars. You see, if I put any sort of throttle, it basically just destroys the car. And, we're currently not going too great right now. I just have to ease it on, and once we get that speed, we are going up pretty quickly here. It's a thousand pounds more than the NASCAR, so uh, I don't think we're going to hit that amount of crazy top speed. I am still braking, and nothing is happening. Uh, the brake pressure on this thing is terrible. I mean, it's absolutely terrible. But we, like I said, we are doing good on these, like, you know, these aren't like long sweeping corners, but long corners where we don't have to brake, we're going to do fairly okay. And look how long I have to brake because of these brakes. I mean, I had to brake a long time uh, just to get to that part of the corner. And here comes another terrible spot. I am slamming on these brakes. Oh my. Alright, we got to the Yokohama checkpoint. I believe we were here in like a minute 20 in the NASCAR, so we're already a good 15 seconds behind. If this can do anything less than 10 minutes, that's going to be very impossible, but I will be surprised if it gets less than 10 minutes. We'll have to see how quick it is on the straight. This is not going to be a fun little part for the limo losing traction. And we want to make sure to not hit that barrier there. Oh boy. I mean, if you saw last video in the NASCAR, you could see that it actually handled surprisingly well over here. Uh, but definitely not the limos. Our rears are heating up now. It's a uh, struggle just to stay on the track at this point, braking early. Yeah, do not touch the curbs. The curbs are kind of deadly point on this track if you're in anything but a race car. I mean, it was a deadly point for the NASCARs, although it didn't handle it decently, slamming on the brakes still. Oh my. The brake pressure, and it's just impossible to stop 4,000 something pounds on small stock limousine tires. All I did 
was increased horsepower put the V8 in here uh, for the memes. Oversized load we are as we're getting to the uh, fan section of the track, slamming into walls. Easing the throttle here. Got a little bit of a lens flare on our screen. That's nice. Alright, let's break early for this one. <clears throat> Very early breaking. Just gonna slam it out of there. We're really just melting our rear tires, but... I mean, it's a one lap time trial. Oh my gosh, this car is impossible to handle. This is making me look like a bad driver. Uh, actually, a beautiful lens flare. The good part of the graphics of this game. We're slowly getting closer to the straight. I feel like every episode now I'm going to be, we're slowly getting closer to the straight. Except for, you know, maybe cars that aren't good on the straight. I won't be saying that, but. The NASCAR is good on the straight, and the limo is going to be good on the straight. Except I don't know how it's going to take the hill. That's going to be the tough thing here. In the grass yet again. Let's stay on the track, please. It really is a struggle. Alright, a little bit of a faster section here. I'm not even going to break into this. Right, I'm going to break into this one now. We're just using the walls, that works too. You can just tell, if you look at my throttle, you cannot full throttle this thing on any corner whatsoever. Alright, we're getting to the carousel. I believe we got here in like exactly four minutes in the NASCAR, so I'm not too sure about the timing. Or it needs a different days, so I'm not really sure. Alright, here we go. Here's the carousel, let's take it and... Oh boy. Oh my. That has to be the worst way to take the carousel. We literally cannot go any other way. I mean, just look how long this thing is. I mean, the thing is half a carousel. <coughs> Sorry about that. And uh, just like the NASCAR, we can never make that turn with cars that aren't meant to turn. Eventually, we'll be able to take that, but not in the limo or the NASCAR. Let's get an easing the throttle. Just kind of letting it go through here. Kind of the same tactics as the NASCAR, really. Just let the car drive itself. I'm trying to stay in the track limits. I was kind of letting off there. Oh, boy. That was just that was like a 10% increase in throttle. Come on. You can do it. Break, please. We're in the wall. We haven't been spun yet. That is a positive. Are we getting closer to the street? That's what I want to know. I think we're slowly getting closer to the street. I still don't know this track very well. Could be uh, messing up the results. Like I said, it's not really about you know, how much car goes faster because you know we could just test P1 cars if we really wanted to, which will be a thing coming up. That was a recommendation. Uh, so yeah, we're not really looking for that. It's kind of testing fun cars and comparing them. Once again, leave your recommendations down below. I plan on making this a very long series. Basically, until Horizon 4 comes out, I'll be posting a couple of these videos a week. I'm uh, not too sure. Oh, that is way too quick into there. That is way too quick. And that's us to the outside as well. I mean, I slam on the brakes and I'm losing like 10 miles an hour per second. It is just terrible. I mean, look at that. That is going down so slowly when I slam on the brakes. I don't know what it is. Is it just the weight? Is it the, uh... I mean, it could be the brakes. I don't have like race brakes on here or anything. That it's kind of a stock car. But here's the straight. We reached. Okay. Stop drifting, please. Oh my, this limo is something else. We're not even going straight on the street. Okay. Let's get it now. 
And the NASCAR did not get nine minutes, by the way. It got seven minutes, and we're at seven minutes right now. I'll be of a good goal with, to be getting nine minutes. What top speed are we going to be hitting here? We hit 195 in the NASCAR. You cannot tell me that we're going to go faster in a limo. Something that is heavier with smaller tires. And definitely not. We did hit 195, though. And that is going to be us into the barrier. We have officially spun out. Now we're at a standing start here. The tires completely burnt. I'm just going to chuck it into fourth gear for the lack of wheel spin. Turns out that worked there. Coming towards the end of the lap. <laughs> we had so much speed and could not turn whatsoever. I probably should have thought about that. Oh, come on, turn. Turn, car, turn. Thank you. Alright, our time is going to be... 8.47.8. We'll have to see what the total time is. It is going to be... Hey. Come on. Show me. 8.48.423. So, that puts us... About... Uh minute and a half a minute 29 seconds slower than the nascar so the nascar though was p class we were a class the nascar actually is a race car not a limo that probably puts us terrible on the leaderboard yeah 121 out of 222 uh, not even the top 50 percent so people got 728s but you know a class uh, so yeah, I mean, I'll take it. It's definitely not the worst thing in the world. It's going to be interesting. Will it be the slowest car? We do have some other cars that we're going to be comparing that are probably going to be slower than the limo. Uh, so yeah, come back next episode. Next one's going to be a good one as well, just like all the other ones in this series. Uh, so stay tuned for that. I'll see you then, and peace.